Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been rolling through our little e-commerce site here. What we're going to do today is we're going to create a privacy policy page. Really easy to do. And I actually just Googled privacy policy or free privacy policy generators. And this is one I've pulled up. And I simply hit the download privacy policy template. It downloaded a Word file here, which has got everything I need in it. Just have to change your business name to this. I'll put this URL below in case you want to use it. There's plenty of different ones out there, or of course you can write your own. So let's start a new page. Before I do that, I want to go in and save a couple of modules. Let's go into my Divi to my theme builder. And I'm going to steal the header from one of these. OK, I'm going to steal this header module up here. I'm going to take the whole section. So I'm going to hit the little upload icon there. I'm going to call this page header. And I'm going to save it to my library. Now I'm going to create a new page. Hit the plus button up there, page. I want to call it privacy policy. And I'm going to use the Divi Builder. I'm going to build from scratch. Just going to put a module there. So I'll put a text module to house our little privacy policy text here. Just going to save that. We'll edit it in a minute. I'm going to add a new section and add that page header. Add from library. There's the page header. I want to put it up to the top. So I literally just left clicked on the little cross there and dragged it up and let go of it. OK. Now inside our little text block here, hit the little cog to go in there, I'm simply going to copy all of this, control A, control C to copy, control V to paste it into my document there, and there we are. Privacy policy done. <laughs> now we're going to style it a little bit more. Don't need any of that up the top there. Obviously, go through it, customize it how you actually want it. That is a heading one. Don't think I want it bold. Just have it the same as everything else. It's fine. Let's have a look. You may need to put your business information in there or change some links. But most of this is pretty good, actually. It's pretty generic, so it pertains to most businesses. Now I'll put my business name in there, which is Divi Store. Great. And I'm just going to put our little sale, never miss a sale module down the bottom. Hit the little add section, add from library again. Never miss. And there it is right there. Only other thing I'm going to do is put some dividers in. Let's go back to the top. Let's go to our section here. Go to design, dividers. For the top one. I guess we'll have a nice big curly one again. Why don't we do this one? And again, I'm going to make it about 50 or even let's make it 60% depth. It's inherited the color from the section above, but I need to put my color in there. So let's put that in there. And I want to take the opacity down so everything can be red very easily. But I'm going to change that. 
and we'll put one on the bottom also and we'll have it 60% also I'm going to make this one blue let's go down there so we can see what's going on there we go and again I want the opacity down so we can read the writing easily but it's still there in the background fantastic that is going to do it for our privacy policy page save our page changes once saved let's exit the visual builder and there we have it there's our privacy policy page really easy to do so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day